All right, this is day 11 of me picking an album from this filter and working out to it and giving it a review. This is a series I've been doing called Muscle Music, so let's see what we get. Uh, I've already done a full episode on this already. Don't listen to that album, it was pretty mid. Unless you're like the band, I guess. Uh, that was like episode four or something. Um, all right, Marvin Gaye's What's Going On, the number one album. Let's do it. All right, we're back from the gym. We did our push day today, and here are my thoughts on the number one album according to Rolling Stone, um, Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. So first off the bat, I can absolutely see why Rolling Stone would put this as their number one uh, album of all time. It's so incredibly like forward thinking. Um, it's very like not protesty, but like obviously pushing out there to get a message. And Marvin Gaye deserves all of the credit and all the roses he's given. He's incredibly influential, an incredible voice. Uh, very tragic, his story, if you look it up, I'm not gonna go through it here, but um, the message and lyrics that he writ that he wrote, excuse me, um, are incredibly potent to this day, which I think is why this album has such a long lifespan. Another thing that caught me off guard with this album too is that it's only like 35 minutes in length, so it's relatively short, especially for this very grand message it's trying to put across, so the amount of material that they packed into this small amount of time is pretty impressive. However, that's not to say this album is without its flaws. I think there are a couple of them. The first one, very similar to the last album we did, the James Brown Live album, um, there's a track on here called Right On. It's, it's like seven minutes in length, so um, it's already eating up a lot of the album's runtime. Granted, it is a pretty decent track, but it was just, it's very interesting to see like these smaller snippets of tracks, and then right in the middle of it is just like a seven minute long track. Also, that track almost sounds like it's uh, like a Steely Dan ripoff almost, or like uh, it was in one of those scenes of, uh, of Anchorman where they try to play the jazz flute, um, which is, it's okay, I like that sound. It was just a very strange mix up for that, uh, this album, especially for like a seven minute long track, but eh, it's still pretty decent. Also, it was really interesting to see how many times they kind of reuse the sound of the What's Going On track in other tracks. So there'll be moments where Maybe they copy like the drum sample or they just steal parts of the melody. Like on the, the track right after the opener, which is What's Happening Brother, I believe, um, they kind of just copy and paste parts of what's going on. Granted, what's going on is a fantastic track. It's one of the best singles of all time. And it really just needed that track to be as amazing as it was. So um, yeah, it was just really interesting how many times they kind of uh, reuse parts of that track. Also, some of the lyrical snippets of this album are just incredible. Like on the track, I think, Save the Children, um, he says, who really cares who's willing to try to save an earth that's already trying to die or something like that? It was very potent when I listened to it. And that's only one little snippet of just like an incredibly well thought out lyrical soundscape from Marvin Gaye. But other than that, it was just a, a pretty great album. I don't think it's a 10 out of 10, like, Rolling Stone says it is, but I could absolutely see why they would put it on such a high pedestal. Uh, my favorite tracks have to go, obviously, What's Going On, uh, Save the Children, Mercy, Mercy Me, as well as Holy, Holy. It was a great track. But yeah, just an overall, just a great album. I think I'd probably give it, at least in terms of rankings, a, uh, a mid to high 8 out of 10. It was really uh, that much of a game changer for me. Like and follow for more, and this will be a good band, guys.